Hey, what's up everybody? Jason here, aka Wikipix. So, as I talked about in the last video, I thought I would go over what we spent getting at a five-hour auction on Sunday. Um, yeah, it was long, but it was worth it. There weren't a whole lot of people there bidding, so we got the stuff that we wanted to get really cheap. So I'm really happy with the sale. Uh, everybody kind of seemed to have an unspoken agreement that we knew what the other people wanted because they wouldn't stop looking at it constantly. And if they bid right away, uh, there was a couple items I bid against people, but other than that, we kind of left each other alone. It was it was pretty interesting and, you know, it's really fun, but it was just really long. But anyway, I thought I'd go over some stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, we got a huge lot, not a huge lot, but a bunch of uh, mugs. I spent 250 on these mugs. This is an old 1980s. Like, look, 1986 Madballs mug. This is an Autobots. Or I mean, sorry, GoBots. I keep saying Autobots. GoBots mug. Generic Transformers, basically. The, this one, there's no sold comps on it. Somebody has one listed for, like, $95. These need cleaned up really well, but I'm not going to sell it for $95. I bet I can get $30 for it. This one, about $25. Now, these two here are two different... Uh, Change Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, I know they don't have any color on the bandana like they should, but every comp I've looked at, no bandana. Now, these are kind of all over the place. You'll see one sell for 20. You'll see a set of four sell for like 60, 80. I'm thinking I can get 30 or $40 just for these two right here. And also in that lot was this G.I. Joe uh, Thermos from the 80s, 1986. Uh, really not worth a whole lot of money. I'll probably throw it in my booth for like eight bucks. It's also missing. It has the cup But it's missing the actual lid, but still someone might want it. You know, I'll probably put it in my booth for eight bucks uh, There's a couple other mugs one I listed last night. I'll show you here in a minute, but um, There's a couple other ones probably not worth a lot. It came with these this Smurf cup is only worth a few bucks, so I'm not really worried about it. And I couldn't even find one like this, and this is pretty worn down, this Disney mug. So that was that lot. I also got these for $5, these beer trays. There's three of these Kohlers, which sell for about 12 bucks plus shipping on eBay. And then Schmidt, uh, Schmidt's Philadelphia Light Beer. I haven't looked that one up, but I'm guessing probably about 12 to $15. So, not too bad. Uh, next up is one that I'm really happy with. Spent five bucks on this. This is a vintage this is from like 1968, I believe, or 69. Hot Wheels, Mongoose, and Snake drag set. Unfortunately, the box is ripped up. And of course, there's no cars in it because the cars were red lines. So somebody obviously kept the cars. Because if you don't know about red line Hot Wheels, you need to look it up because they're worth, they're worth some money. But still, everything's here, and there's also some spare parts that I can sell probably for $20 or $30 a piece in there. So I'm happy with that. This is a... I got this for $5 as well. Not as valuable. Oh, if I didn't say, I think I can get about $60 to $80 bucks for that. I'm going to put it up for auction. Same thing with this. I'm going to put it up for auction. Hopefully get $25. Spent $5 bucks on it. This is Mark's. There's no cars in it, but everything else is there for this, uh, this drag race super speedway it's a pretty cool thing and then everything else i'm about to show you here was in a lot these are all springbok puzzles if you don't know about springbok they're worth probably 20 25 a piece i've sold them plenty in the past sealed these are all sealed this one here is not a springbok i haven't looked it up yet it is a cassette i guess hoil product products I'll look that one up though. Uh, chess is pretty popular. I looked this chess teacher up. This is from the 70s. It tells you on each piece what moves you can make and everything. Pretty neat board. Probably a $20, $25. And then this other game, Can't Stop. Never heard of it. Looked it up. Probably $20, $25 for that too. Paid $5 for all of those. Plus, this G.I. Joe puzzle which I could have probably got $30 for, except for two pieces are messed up. So that's kind of a drag. This was actually in another 
lot that I'll show you here in a minute that I paid $5 for. Uh, I don't know. It looks like a 10 piece. This is made by uh, Woolworth. We three yacht club. It's got a couple of dolls in there. Kind of neat. Doesn't look like it's too valuable, but still kind of neat. So that's everything I brought upstairs. I still got more in the garage. So I'm gonna take you out there and show you what's out there. All right, so the rest of the stuff we got at the auction on Sunday is out here in the garage. I uh, got Bubs here to help me. Say hi, Bubs. Hi. All right. So first off, paid five dollars for this big tub full of glass, which, of course, Wiki Wife didn't want me to at first until I sold her, showed her the sold comps on these things. These are vintage McDonald's, Batman, and. Flintstones cups from back in the day and these are worth some decent money now there's some more stuff in here I haven't got down in there yet like for instance there's that old Pepsi Cola goblet right here I figure that's got a little bit of value if anything for the booth this is a needs cleaned up but this is actually Pyrex Hamilton Beach number 18 mixing bowl so that's probably at least $15 on eBay or in the booth. Uh, pulled up this Tupperware. Let's show them the Tupperware. Not that. Not that. So a bunch of this old Tupperware. Tupperware. I'm going to try to get these names off of them. But yeah, this is the good stuff. Old stuff. And we got the lids. There's a square one, a few round ones, some small <laughs> ones. That was a good score. <coughs> you done? Yes. Okay. I think I paid, I think 250 for the Tupperware. And then uh, over here, I paid a dollar for these old Tupperware things. These, this set alone will sell on eBay for 25 bucks, easy. But we're probably gonna put these in the booth, but we'll see. Next, I got this. This is Milk Class Sunkissed. Uh, it's a juicer. It's really cool. It needs cleaned up, like everything. But man, this is a really cool piece. No chips or cracks or anything. Hoping to get 15 bucks, 20 bucks. This will be in the booth. Got this for just a couple bucks. And then we got these. Come here, hold these up, bud. I can show it to the, show it to the people. This? Yeah. That tray. Don't. Don't step on that. Oh, I didn't know it was glass. Hold it up so I can show it. It's upside down. Yeah, there you go. All right. Old Pac-Man TV tray. Don't move it. Now, it does have some old stickers that somebody put on it. Not a big deal. I'm actually going to leave them. I'm just going to clean it up. It's got a little bit of rust. and But it does have legs. Turn around the back side. Yeah, it does have legs. And uh, this one's really good. Should be pretty good anywhere no. 2000 ah oh, this isn't that old how, how old so hold it up so this isn't that old 2003 but it's strawberry shortcake it's in pretty good condition it's got a scratch right here needs cleaned up up here but not bad and it has the legs and the legs are in good condition so hopefully we'll get some money out of that uh hold this up very carefully please this no this i don't care about the scrabble game very carefully. That is old. What is this, Harry Potter? No, turn around. It's old, dude. This is World War II. It's upside down. Flip it around. Okay, just be very careful. This is a U.S. Army. I paid a dollar for this. Nobody else wanted it, and I didn't want it to go to waste. So even if I don't sell it, I will keep it. This is what's called a sweetheart putt pillow. Uh, basically, soldiers gave this to their their sweetheart their wife their girlfriend you know their lady back home before they left but yeah u.s army camp uh claiborne or claiborne in was that alexandria louisiana so that i'm guessing is where they trained at basic training then they would have bought this pedal or <laughs> would have bought this pillow <laughs> and given it to, and given it to their sweetheart before they left but yeah it's definitely old it's silk uh I don't know. I didn't even look it up yet. 
but I plan on it. All right, carefully fold that up and put it down. All right, so also we got, well, yeah, we got a Scrabble game. It's not old. I'll just take the tiles like I do with everything else. Here's another puzzle. Again, oh, this is a spring box. Okay, so this is another spring box sealed puzzle. So that's an easy 15, 20 to $25. Raggedy Ann. Yeah, Raggedy Ann. I got that over the weekend. Uh, I got this carnival glass here. Really beautiful piece. This is going in the booth for sure. Carnival glass? Yeah. That way it's, it's like, cause it's and then here's a few more out of the mugs lot. Nothing special. I haven't looked them up. Uh, Cran mug, Garfield mug, and a Yogi Bear old cup. And... Also, out of another part of a lot was this old American tool chest. I haven't looked this up. I don't know what it's worth. And then they threw in some of this with uh, something else. And then lastly, for five bucks, open this up, bud, is this Pioneer Real Wood Log Cabin set. I got to check it out and make sure everything's there. But... So I'm gonna have to check it out, see if everything's there, try to find the instructions for it. But you can see a lot of it's still bundled up, never been undone. If everything's here, I think I can get about a hundred bucks out of this and I paid five. So yeah, that's everything that we got at the auction. Uh, I was really happy. I think total we spent $187 after the buyer's premium of 10%. And pick, like I said, I picked up that uh, Coors, uh, the malted milk canister from them today and uh you know i buy from them all the time they asked me how i did on sunday i told them fantastic couldn't be happier they said they're going to be having more that was kind of their test run to see if anybody would even show up so you know looking forward to more estate or more uh, auctions they're a lot of fun if you've never been to one and you can get a lot of stuff cheap all right so that was everything that we got at the auction minus a couple of items that i'm going to show you here in uh up in my little office space and i figured hey i haven't shown off my office space yet now would be a good time to do it uh let's go ahead and get into it so here i got a few tubs these are for larger items b1 b2 and then this tub is actually all toys there's the cars i've been sell selling the halo figures i've been selling plus i've been putting more toys imagine next i actually have two auctions ending tonight this is one of them and this bag here i'll show it to you it's a bunch of these uh star wars figures these both end here in about a in about an hour this is a huge lot of imagine x toys that i have listed that mobile car i got listed that goes for about 50 dollars free shipping and a few other things there's all the cars a couple chess boards but yeah so these actually sit out here if you can see i got my doorway and then i have these boxes i want to turn this into an actual shipping station once i find the right size desk or table i haven't found it yet but when i find a good size one that's where that's going to go that's just my military wall that my wife put together yes i did serve in the army for 13 years over here is my desk nothing fancy computer printer Yes, I still do the old school printing. Uh, I don't have a Rolo printer, but it's on my goals list. This is my board. I do keep track of my lists. I give myself a goal of at least 20 a week. As you can see, last week I hit 34. Yesterday I only listed one item, but all this stuff's getting listed this week. Uh, over here I got just this old like cabinet that we've had for years that we bought at Walmart. Keep mugs in here, mainly breakable stuff, glasses, stuff like that. And in the bottom, it's all uh, Christmas and Halloween items. So I'll pull that out and list those when it gets time to do that. Here's my light box. As you can see, very bright. But if I get in here, I actually got this at an online auction. I picked it up after work. This is a Coors Pure Malted Milk Canister and it's in extremely good condition and this is old a uh, little history lesson if you didn't know when prohibition hit 
Coors and a lot of other breweries had to switch to sell something else, obviously, and they sold a lot of malted milk. They advertised it as a healthy drink for babies to help them grow, so that's how they stayed alive for those 16, 17 years during the Prohibition. Anyway, I'm not a history guy, but uh, some packing supplies up here. This is just random cardboard, my roll of packing paper, fragile stickers, stuff like that. This shelf is just kind of an overflow. These are bigger items that are listed that don't fit in these big item boxes. Uh, this is my game drawer. I try to keep all my video games and stuff in there. Old Atari games and the games I showed you in the last video. And then in here is the majority of my stuff. I try to stay organized. I need a better system. All my shelves have gotten out of place. So, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G... And then I got a PTP. I actually named that from, uh, I bought a box of random stuff from Matt, the part-time picker. If you don't know him, I'm sure you do, but if you don't go follow his channel, he finds incredible stuff at garage sales and very knowledgeable. And I learned a lot from him, but yeah, so that's what that box is. I think there's only like three items left in there that I got from him and I made good profit off of it. So I'm really glad I did that. And then here's all my packing supplies. All my random boxes, 1085s, 92s, 97 shoe boxes, number sevens, which I have a ton more in the closet. The small packing boxes. These are your uh regional rate A's and B's. My 10 or my 8 by 6 by 4s, 10 by 8 by 6s, all my bubble mailers, and more mailers up here. And then down here, these are NFL gloves that I've been selling for the past six months. Doing pretty good on these. All these hats, which I actually need to find a box to put all my hats in. Because I got hats down there, here, everywhere. Oh, almost forgot to show you before we leave here. Like I said, this came out of the mug collection. Cleaned this up last night. Got it listed for $25 plus shipping. And this was part of, this came with the yacht, the we yacht people, whatever, we three yachts, uh, J.R.R. Token. Let me see, 19, can you see that? 1973. Got this listed for 60. I don't know if it's going to sell for 60. But that's what I have it listed for now. Uh, if I got to take it down later, minimum $40 though, easily. So great buy again. Yeah, that's my little uh, closet. That's not a lot of space, but you know, I work with what I have. I also have a storage unit that I keep extra stuff in, extra packing supplies, bigger items that I either listed or are gonna go in our antique booth. And then the other part of the room, as you can see, is my, I guess, man cave. But I'll show you around real quick. I got random stuff on the walls. This Kona beer sign. We actually got for five dollars at a garage sale this thing is worth about 70 80 dollars but i'm keeping it because i was stationed in hawaii for eight years and we got married in hawaii uh we started our family in hawaii so it's hawaii's got a special place in our heart these are just random items some of these are actually listed this batman isn't but if i wanted to i could get 30 bucks out of him easily this Coors Light sign, I actually bought at Pete Craigslist Hunter's store. He wasn't there that day, but we happened to be up in Northern Illinois, wanted to stop by. I actually sold an item to them that I really didn't know what to do with. And then I bought this from them. And uh, if you watch him, that was the same time that he had just started the wall of pictures. So uh, me, my wife, and my kids are actually the first picture on his wall, which I thought was kind of cool, but yeah. Clearly, I'm a big Bears fan. You'll see Bears stuff all over the place. Video, or not video games, superhero stuff. I'm big into Marvel. And yeah, just random stuff on my walls. My little fridge for, you know, little cold drinks. And yeah, so this is my little uh, office space. I'm sure it's not as good as other people's and i know it needs a lot of work it's a work in progress it's always going to be a work in progress it can always be better you know if you're not trying to better yourself then what are you even doing all right so thanks for checking out the video like comment subscribe and we'll be back later on hopefully saturday with or sunday with a video of what we find this weekend
All right, y'all, take it easy.